Hi, I am Devjani Nath. Welcome back to my channel Craft Addict. Today in this episode, I am going to show you how to crochet this beautiful baby dress. And this is the second part of the tutorial. I have shown you the yoke part in the first part of the tutorial. And in this part, I will show you the rest of the dress, how to make it. Thank you to my all subscribers. You inspire me. Those who are new to my channel if you like my video do subscribe to my channel do like share and comment i will try my best to answer you i shall leave all the information in the description box below do check my instagram account for my handmade products now let's get started now this is the yoke part i have shown you previously and this is the end of the round 12 and we will now start round 13 now make one half double crochet into the first 15 stitches before chain one space. Now chain 3 and skip 37 stitches across the sleeve and work 1 half double crochet in the next chain space. and now this is we are working for sleeves and now make one half double crochet up to the next stitch marker Now again make chain 3 and skip 37 stitches for sleeve and then make one half double crochet here and then make one half double crochet in each of the last 15 stitches
now join with the slip stitch to the first stitch now you can remove your stitch markers now we will start round 14 make one half double crochet in each of the stitches up to the chain 3 Now make 5 half double crochet in this chain 3 space. And now make 1 half double crochet up to the next chain 3. Now in the chain 3 space make 5 half double crochet and then make 1 half double crochet in each of the last few stitches that is 15 stitch. At the end join with the slip stitch. The slip uh, stitch count at the end of round 14 will be around 70 to 75 in between 70 to 75. Uh, you don't need exact number of stitches this is how it looks at the end of round 14 now from this round we will start the skirt part and this what this skirt part make chain 4 first and now make one double crochet in the same stitch and again in the next stitch make one double crochet chain one and one double crochet we are making double crochet v stitch again in the next stitch make one double crochet chain one one double crochet in this way in every stitch make one v stitch and continue this round Now we have come to the end of this round and join with the slip stitch to the first V stitch. Now make chain 4 and 1 double crochet over this V stitch. Now make 1 V stitch over the every each of the V stitch. Just complete this round in this way. Don't work the space in between the V-stitch, just work V-stitch over V-stitch.
now continue this v stitch rounds up to 19 rounds of v stitch i have made and the scarf part will be about eight and half inches length so continue these rounds and we will meet at the end of the scarf part now i have completed the scarf part and i have added a second color that is blue color and this is optional although and in the beginning i have showed you the white color but while working i choose this blue color and just made 100 chains with the blue color and added like belt and the total length of the dress is 12 and half inches I am showing you in this way this is about 13 inches for this bow I have made 100 chains with this and you can add it like belt and I have made a bow here just to give it a look good look you can do the same or you can leave it also and now I will show you how to make the aging of this cut the last part and after this V stitch round at last I have made one round of single crochet just make one round of single crochet and then I am showing you the aging of the skirt I am adding the blue yarn I make chain one and make one single crochet in the same stitch now make one single crochet in the next stitch make one single crochet in the next stitch and then chain two and make one slip stitch insert your hook into the bottom stitch bottom single crochet stitch and make one slip stitch here and this is single crochet pico stitch and make one single crochet in the next two stitches next three stitches make one single crochet in the next three stitches and in the fourth stitch again make one single crochet chain two and then make slip stitch in the bottom stitch now make one single crochet in the next three stitches in the fourth stitch again make one single crochet pico so in this way continue this round and complete this round whole round now I have completed the aging you can see how it looks and now here I have already made one sleeve and now I am going to show you how to make the other sleeve also 
and then I will show you how to make the neck portion also. So let's do it. For the sleeve, we will start from the 2 3 stitch before the armhole. You can remember the chain 3 space where we have made 5 half double crochet and we will start from before 3 stitch before that region. So add your yarn or you can make the with the same yarn make chain 3 and then make 1 double crochet here. Now make 2 double crochet in the next 2 stitches. Now we will make double crochet decrease. We will make 3 double crochet decrease here. Now make one double crochet in each of the stitches, no more decrease up to the end and at the end we will join with the slip stitch to the first stitch. Now after joining make chain 3 and start your next round. In the next round we will make 2 double crochet in each of the stitches. That is we are increasing in each stitch. Now here I am changing color although it is optional. You can continue with the same color. Now join with the slip stitch to the first stitch, chain 3 and start your next round. This will look like this at the end of round 2. Next 2 rounds will be 1 single crochet in each stitch, round 2, uh, 3 and 4. And so make round 3 and 4 and we will meet at the end of round 4.
now we have come to the end of the round 4 join make the last stitch and join with the slip stitch to the first stitch and make chain 3 and we will start the next round and the next round that is fifth round will be decrease round we will decrease in every stitch in this round so make one double crochet first and then make decrease in every stitch The stitch count is not absolutely necessary but keep in mind that both the sleeves will be of same size you can put stitch marker to find out the first stitch so go on continue decreasing after round 5 it will look like this and now we will make another round of decrease and in this round make 3 double crochet in the first 3 stitches and then make 1 decrease and continue this pattern 3 double crochet in the 3 stitches and then 1 decrease continue this pattern and complete this round now join with the slip stitch to the first stitch and after this round it will look like this the sleeve now here I am going to change the color of the yarn again I am adding blue color yarn and this round will be one single crochet in each stitch so with this blue yarn make one single crochet in each stitch and complete this round
now after this single crochet round I am going to start the edging make one single crochet in each of the two stitches and then single crochet pico in the third stitch so in this way complete this round and your sleeve will be completed You can see both the lip sleeves how it looks. Now I will show you the neck part how to make the neck part. For the neck part we will start from the right side and with the uh, blue color yarn and turn around your dress like this and start from the first stitch make add your yarn and make chain 3 and make one double crochet two double crochet in each stitch So complete this round, make 2 double crochet in each stitch. So I have come to the end of this round. This is how it looks and we are not joining at the end as this is the neck portion. Make chain 1, turn your work and make 1 round of single crochet. Just make 1 single crochet in each stitch.
now we will make another round chain one again turn your work and this round is single crochet picot round make two single crochet in each of the two stitches and then in the third stitch one single crochet pico and then again make two single crochet in the next two stitches then one again make one single crochet pico stitch in the third stitch so in this way complete the whole round and we will meet at the end of the round So the now the neck portion is completed and how it looks you can see it Now we have completed the dress and you can add buttons at the back also So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. See you in my next video. Till then, bye bye. Have a good day.